One such place is the Sea of Okhotsk in far eastern Russia. This is the island of Talan. Throughout the long Arctic winter, it's encircled by ice. But as spring approaches, that begins to break up, and seabirds that have spent the winter feeding out on the open ocean far to the south begin to return. Its isolated position and steep cliffs make Talan a perfect nesting site. The tufted puffins arrive first. These are the Pacific cousins of our less spectacular Atlantic species. Horn puffins soon follow. In all, 14 different species return to Talan each spring, and in just a few weeks, the once silent cliffs come alive to the calls of four million breeding seabirds. This is a multi-story avian city. Assembling in these dense colonies, after having spent a largely solitary life at sea, provides the birds with the social stimulation that is the key to coordinating their breeding. By nesting and laying together, they ensure that most of their chicks will leave the nest at exactly the same time. Just like the turtles, this is the way they spread the impact of predators. The world's largest eagle, Stella's sea eagle, a third as big again as a golden. Throughout the summer, the eagles hunt in Talan's crowded colonies. Riding on the updrafts, they patrol the top of the cliffs, looking out for any kittiwake that ventures too far from the rock face. Suddenly, the huge eagle stoops with the aerial agility of a falcon. Coordinating panic among the kittiwakes confuses their attacker. But the eagle doesn't give up. And it has got one. 